Hello everybody and welcome to the XP Classic Jets channel where I talk about simulating classic jet airliners in X-Plane. So today's video is something a bit different. I wasn't really intending to do this but I've spent the last five days working away on the FMC, the CDUs for the 737-300 in Air Manager. It's gone very well. It's uh, about 80% complete but to be honest it's a real drudge. It just takes forever. So I thought I'd embark on a little project just to give me a, a bit of a, a bit of levity really in, in, in this, this whole process. And that involves looking at another aeroplane type. And it's this thing here. It's um, Boeing 720. And this is a, a freeware model which is available on xplane.org. It's actually very good and it's had quite a lot of downloads I think it was up to just over 9,000 downloads the last time last time I looked and a few people have done odds and ends like fmod sounds and uh, new liveries for the aeroplane so I thought well why don't I produce a set of panels and instruments for this thing a set of freeware panels and instruments for this thing because I think it would be a bit bit off of me really if I was to try and charge money for something to go with a, a freeware aeroplane and I thought the beauty of, of this thing is that for anybody that wants to try flying a classic jet in X-Plane and this aircraft incidentally works with both X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12 but I thought for somebody that wants to try flying a classic jet airliner without an FMC and just get the hang of old style navigation. This is perfect. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. It actually flies quite well. It looks okay for a freeware model. In fact, it looks very good for a freeware model. And it gives you something to try. And if you like it, then you can go out and step up a notch and get the Fly JSIM. 727 or 737 200 or even Felix's 747 200 if you want to stick with four engines so I'm going to embark on on this little project it's it's not that complicated all the data refs are standard x-plane data refs from what I can see <laughs> there may be some hidden in there but we'll, we'll give it a go and see what see where we're at and I think what I'll do is start with existing instruments that I've been using on the 727 for example or the 737-200 just modify them um, modify them to work with this thing simplify them as necessary and then I'll update them and change them so that they they better match the the Boeing 720 so this is the captain's panel we've got the center panel with engine instruments a very very simple glare shield and in, in this model here with just the fire handles for the the four engines um, and then the first officer's panel moving up to an overhead again very simple above that is just circuit breakers so I might just ignore that for now move across then to the upper flight engineers panel again nothing too complex on this there's there's not many different gauges they're quite simple they're the older style 1950s stroke 1960s style of, of instruments with a with a black face plate and not too much color on them down to the the lower the lower panel again the same lights as the 727 the same switches I'll use as the 727 so quite quite simple there's the pedestal with a with the weather radar I'm not sure if that's working yet I don't think it is but we'll have a look at it and and um, and see and down to the pedestal with the radios and the nav control heads so we'll give this a go I might look to make some videos which which show me working on this as we go along maybe give you a bit a bit of insight into how how explain um, an air manager interact with each other for those of you who are interested in the IXEG 733 or in fact with the, the for the flight engineer panels on the 72 and the 74 don't worry this this isn't going to hold things up this is 
on the face of it, a very simple aeroplane. And I'm just going to do work on this really to give me a bit of a, a bit of a break and a bit of a, a an easy easy time as I say after after five days of programming CDUs for the 737-300 and literally all you get for that is a is a is a tiny little screen with changing digits on it it'll be fun to to do something here as I said earlier these will be completely free you'll only need air manager of course in order to be able to to run them with with Xplane and they'll be available to download from the from my forum website which is xp-classicjets.freeforums.net i might just upload by literally instrument by instrument as um, as they're produced or panel by panel but let's see how we go i think this is going to be a fun side project and in line with what i said earlier about trying out these classic jets these free panels and free instruments will give you a chance to try out with their manager. And if you like them, then hopefully you'll think about moving up a step and purchasing my panels for the 737 and the 747. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll um, I'll think about how, how best to, to work this. No, it should, should, should be fun. Hopefully this is going to be a great aeroplane it's going to be improved it already has been improved by by the original author for a first time aircraft in x-plane i think he's done a fabulous job and if you haven't already got this then please do support him please go and download it please go and fly it and enjoy it because i'm sure the more people that download it and the more support he has then the more incentive he has to improve this and and also there's incentive for other folks as well to make improvements, whether it's sounds or liveries or whatever else other people do. That's the, the beauty of, of this hobby in X-Plane is that there are so many different facets to it. For a first time aircraft model, this has really been done very well. And um, hats off to, to, uh, to the, the author, the original author for, um, uh, for the job, uh, the great job he's done. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna say goodbye Thanks for watching and all the best.